is I got little Mikey Bucci calling me a pedophile. And I was pissed. Uh, we, we talked about it off the air. I was real fucking hot that I didn't bring up what he called me because I'm glad he called me that. Can you imagine that, Jimmy? Can you imagine that I'm thrilled that little Mikey Bucci called me a pedophile? Why number you, one, my why, girl, would, why, would, why would you be thrilled? Number one, my girlfriend's 25, the one that you claim has a dick. Well, I hope she never goes through <laughs> what I went through if that's the case. Number two, we've been together for four years. That would make her 21. Wait a minute, you've been together. Maybe at the edge of 20. You've been together. She lives, you're not helping your case. She lives in the Philippines and you live in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm a loyal man, unlike you. I got loyalty about myself. I got integrity. When I get into a relationship and a commitment, I stand by it. And you're the one claiming we ain't seen each other. And you're the one claiming she's got a dick. I can testify, yes, I have seen her. As a matter of fact, the hospital the hospital remembered me having a hot little Asian girl with me the last time I was in the hospital. Oh, for heaven's sake. And besides There's controversy that, as to whether or not that was Lena or not, but still, you know. I, the, I never said, would you let me get something? I never said that she has currently has a penis. I said she was born with one at some point. Now, how would you know that? Where, where do you base that right. information and facts from? Nevertheless, the point is I can just. Well, yeah, yeah, Donald Trump. Nevertheless, I can, I can just testify that that Mike Bucci's statement was completely false for a different reason because I've known you for years, forty and, years, just celebrated and, her forty year anniversary. There you go, and you love young women, but they must be of legal age, so you can't. Got to be legal. Got to be legal. You, I've seen you women. Ask, I've no seen offense. you ask for documentation on numerous occasions. You have uh, many times, even in the high schools. Even yeah. in the high schools, when I was going there recruiting, you were looking. Uh, for the, for, you, were, you were looking for the girls that looked a little a little dim because you thought they'd been left back a year. Is what you were doing? <laughs> well, they were probably nineteen. That was just a polite way of putting yeah. it. Yeah. And as you know, that I, that was my job was to recruit beautiful women for the OVW television show. So who else than dim-witted that little nineteen-year-old girls a, who were easily misguided? That was a job that you gave yourself that I never knew anything about until well after it had already been established. Well, four years into it, I came clean, told you what I was doing. Yeah. Where did you think those girls came from? Fucking uh, 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 JCC. I don't I mean, know. But you, you got a lot of heat with when, when you had that one girl sitting on your lap at Freedom Hall at the WWE show when she started flashing her tits. While, while oh you, yeah, yeah, Marissa, still a dear friend of mine. Marissa, as a matter of fact, she came over here and bought a bunch of headphones last Christmas. Of course, she couldn't buy none this Christmas because I was in the hospital. And I, what do you mean heat? You and Jim Ross and Vince McMahon and I hear even Pat Patterson, which that threw me off. We're all gawking at the big titted girl I had sitting on my lap who was flashing herself. And why was she flashing herself? She was intoxicated. And that fucking referee, one of those twins, Hebner, I don't know which one, but the one who liked to see little girl's tits, spotted her sitting on my lap, probably picked up she was a bit intoxicated, and encouraged her to raise her top to the crowd, which she did. And you all had cameras on her during the commercial breaks, and you were sitting there. Who's that big titted bitch on Kenny's light? Where Jim Ross said that. You verified. No, no, well, he did not. He did not use language like that. What did he say? He said, "Who's nah. that help?" He said, "Who's that healthy young lady sitting on Bolin's lap?" That's well, that, that maybe you said, "Who's that big titted bitch on Bolin's lap?" Because I <laughs> could see Jim man. Ross. I, I could see Jim Ross coming across in a dignified manner. So I'll grant you that. All but right. that was Marissa. I won't use her last name because her children, uh, oh, her you know, children. she has teenage children now, for crying out loud. All right, look here. I'm going to just say one thing before we go. I no, will... don't say anything before you go because you haven't let me answer why I'm happy that Bucci called me a pedophile. Well, I wish you'd get to it then. Well, let me do that. Here it goes. I'm happy that he called me that because it proves what a low-life piece of shit fucking dad he really is. What? Because here's how he sold his daughter out. His little girl, I won't use her name because I'm going to protect her too. The prince has already pointed out, at least the little girl that he raised, he admitted wasn't his. We'll leave that alone. We won't get any further into that. But here's, here, here's the price he put on his daughter's head. If he was so convinced I was a pedophile, and apparently he was convinced of this for the better part of 16 years. For 12 years, he had dinner with me at least twice a week, feeding his wife, his kid, his banking friends, his banking friend Steve down in Texas, various others, using me. And I felt a fool. I let it happen. It's my fault. You're a victim. But I was a victim. But here's what he did. 
as long as he could get a seventeen dollar meal for himself, a ten dollar meal for his kids, seventeen dollar meal for his wife, and 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 a seventeen dollar meal for his banking friends, it was okay for his little girl to hang out with a pedophile, to sit on Uncle Kenny's lap, tell Uncle Kenny you love him, give Uncle Kenny a big hug. Tell Uncle Kenny that you love Ma Bowen and you can't wait to see her. We all know Ma Bowen's history. So, so that was his price to be okay with a pedophile. And then apparently he ended up voting for one as well. So apparently my, little Mikey doesn't have too much trouble with pedophiles, even if I were one, which I think we've clearly documented that I'm not. Which, but he he wants the people he wants the people to think I was a pedophile, and for the price of a few golden corral meals twice a week, he's cool with that. But the minute you cut off his meals, all of a sudden I'm a pedophile. Well, fuck you, little Mikey. And as a matter of fact, I challenged your fucking ass to come fight me or my son. And uh, obviously, I'm probably not up to it, but I'll fucking You're give it a try. I noticed your chicken shit ass didn't come to the fucking hospital. Everybody knew where I was. Everybody knew what number, what room number I was in. And we also know where you live, and the prince knows especially. So you little fucker, you want to call me a pedophile again? Set your little daughter on my lap? You're a fucking worst father on the goddamn planet Earth. You're always bragging what a good daddy you are because you took your kid to Disneyland. I guess if you find out that the Tigger the Tiger is a fucking pedophile, file as long as you get a free icy cone out of it you're cool with that too so fuck you <laughs> well and god damn it i'll tell you this i've said it a million times what you you you, you can use that language but you just can't throw the coffee you just can't throw the coffee ladies and gentlemen well david i said, what I, I, said right. I said what i had to say that's terrible for you to go through all of that. And it was terrible of him to say, I can't believe that this over this $50 bet of their foolish misguided Trump, Trump's. Well, but see, that that's where you all not understand. This. 